Good evening, everybody. Welcome. So today I'm going to be using up the stamped one sheet wonder that I stamped last night. So if you haven't gone and seen that video, do go and check that out later. I've already gone ahead and cut out a few things. So I used the Forever Flourishing dies and used a couple of the leaves out of that. The rectangle stitched framelits dies and also I just brought onto my desk these couple of pieces. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them yet but I'll just let you know it's from the fabulous floral dies. So I also have cut some bases so I've got I think this is Sahara sand. I just grabbed it out of my drawer. Yeah I think it's Sahara sand and also this kind of burlapy type paper and it's in the in good taste designer series paper pack and it's the one that's got the brick on the other side and then you've got the burlap there actually i just noticed the brick let's see what the brick looks like yeah. hmm, different okay right so i'm aiming to make about three cards with you tonight and Again, just kind of show that if you just cut a whole heap of stuff out, it's quite fun to then sit and formulate your cards. And um, I've just realised I've left my chicken stock on. I'm just going to get my husband. I can smell it. Just as I sat down then, I can smell, I can smell the chicken stock. Tom, yeah. can you just turn the chicken stock down? I can smell it. I put the chickens, we had a chicken the other day and I thought, um, my husband put it in a pot so I thought right we'll make some stock and um, I put it on earlier, anyway I can smell it. Right so that was the paper, do you remember like, yesterday I stamped this one, uh, let's have a look, it's that way round. So I've only actually used a quarter of that and then this piece here I've cut off, I've got a third of it. So I've got a card base with that one on it there. I've got these two as scrap just in case. And then I went ahead and cut out a purple posy. Oh, let me show you what I did. It was kind of like a double sheet wonder type thing, but you cut cut it with the rectangle dies. So let me show you what I did. So I basically put them together and I cut them out in one go. All right, and then I'm going to swap it. So I'm going to use that one on that one and that one on that one. And then I cut out of the purple posy card stock, I cut two pieces that are slightly larger than this piece. So that's just going to sit there and that's going to sit there. And as you can see, I've already cut flowers out the centre because, you know, we want to save save our card stock and I've gone ahead and cut out a big daisy a couple of big daisies and I thought that would be quite nice as a something over on here and I also went ahead and cut some of the smaller daisies so I thought those would be nice on there so let's have a play let's see what happens just finding my other daisy I have plugged in my glue my glue gun because I thought it would be easier to stick everything together. Oh, I was just looking for my tweezers. There we go. Right, I was going to just tweezer some of these flowers into a bit more of a shape. And also, I have punched out with the new oak leaf punch that I showed you earlier in my unboxing. So this punch is not going to be available until the 4th of August, but I thought it would be fun to start having it creep in on various cards, these beautiful little oak leaves. So um, I'm going to tweezer them in a couple of different places to see see what they look like. I feel like these need to have a bit of ink on the edges of them just to make them help them bring them alive. There is a stamp that matches but I, I wanted just to go with the shape of the uh, just the nice shape of the leaf to start off with. Let's have a play, have a play with that really. So let's say a quick hello to everybody that's watching. Just make sure I've got my sound turned down. Hi Karen, Deborah, Dee Dee, who else? Steph, Christine. 
Janice. Um, oh, what's happened to Christine? You sent him for COVID testing. Ah, oh, right, okay. Yeah. Um, yes, I know. Three live streams today. Well, I did say last night that I was going to come on and do this. I got my parcel, so I was like, oh, let's go online and show you guys. Right, so when I was cutting out these leaves, I was just doing it out of some scrap pieces of card. So I knew I wasn't getting completely whole leaves, but that doesn't matter, you know, because especially with these great big beautiful leaves, it doesn't matter if you don't get all of them, because we can just sort of cut them down anyway and use portions of them. So I'm not too worried about not having them all. So that can go under there like that. Who's that? What's not? Who else came in? Hi, Helen. Hi, Amy. Galena. Valerie. Hi, Freedom. Nyoka. Hey. Hi, Martina. Hi, Christine. Ruth, can you do the tweezer in slow motion so I can see what you're doing? Okay. All right. Just for you. Hi, Bev. <laughs> okay. So. You get your tweezers. Usually you hold them between thumb and thumb and forefinger, don't you? So rather than having my thumb on the top, I actually twist my hand round and have my forefinger on the top. And I pop it onto the flower like that. Hold it between my thumb and finger and then just twist. But I'm holding the paper inside like that. Okay? That's it. Just give it a bit of a squeeze. So, I don't know, if I do it onto this, this might make it a bit easier to see. So, thumb and finger over the top, twist. Okay, so thumb and finger over, twist. And you're sort of twisting away from yourself. Okay, and that just helps to put some shape into these little things. You're welcome. Yeah, this fa it's like fabric, yeah. It's just the, it's just a photograph, I think. A photograph of fabric that they've just had printed up. So. so as you can see, I'm kind of like working on three cards in one go. And I do like doing this because, well, one, it's a bit easier. But it means that you can pl really play with textures and things because... Although you've got lots of similarities to what you're doing, also there are differences. So it's really nice to be able just to play with that. So, and it does feel like you're being a bit of a flower arranger, to be honest, when you make cards like this. Because you're tucking in things here and there and you know, figuring out how you want it. Okay, so now with this one, I wanted to put some lace trim and I wasn't sure whether to go for the black because there is black in that pattern there. Or oh, I didn't know if it was too harsh and whether I should put the blue because this is midnight, uh, misty moonlight. And although I didn't use misty moonlight in the background, I did use night of navy and stamped off it does look like misty moonlight so I don't think it looks terrible there I think it looks quite pretty so. okay Christine all the best oh you like the black do you oh excuse me I did wonder whether to actually layer it like if I could cut this in half have a double layer Yeah, so it's just pointy tweezers. They're not, they shouldn't be expensive. Please do not pay lots and lots of money for the expensive eyebrow tweezers. It, these are the cheapy, cheapy ones that, you know, when you buy tweezers and you go, you go to use them and they don't work. 
These are the ones you want. <laughs> yeah, I knew this blue-black thing would divide you lot. So I'm going to use both, I think. <laughs> there we go. Right. Put that to one side. Right, now the other thing I've got here are some of the little flowers that I've already punched. So I thought it would be nice to have those in, in and about. But I do want to ink those up a little bit. Um, I know what, if I just ink everything in crumb cake, then I won't have to be to and fro with different colours. You can't get warm. Well, it's f it's funny weather out there, to be honest. You love this. This is the grid paper that's just come available. Yeah, it's nice and colourful, isn't it? Hi, Navarana. Nice to see you. It's been a while. How are you keeping? Have you been making anything recently? Oh, if I find it difficult to warm up, I put a hat on. Sometimes when I go to bed, you know, just sometimes you just get a bit cooler. You, you know, your body temperature's dropped. Um, I just put a hat on and I find I warm up much quicker then. Yes, it has both centimetres and inches, this, pe this grid paper. It's great. Yep. Oh, my friend came to pick up her whale punch and stamps today. And I messaged her and said, oh, can I punch out some whale punches? So I have got some of them here. And you know why? Because I noticed, if I can get into my packet, oh dear, come on, I noticed that they've got like a bit of a leafy shape to some of these. I'm not going to use them today, but look, that's a leaf, that is, in my mind. And also the whale's tail. That's like a leaf. And then I thought that could be used as something, like, I don't know, like a petal or something. So I was going to have a play with that. Because um, I haven't bought it myself. Oh, and these little pieces. Look. These can be used as little... These can be used as little petals. Aren't they cute? So anyone who's got the whale punch, please have a play. Because I think they could be used as leaves. Tiny, tiny leaves. But there we go. Just an idea, putting it out there. Please, someone have a go. Let me know. You've been socialising, meeting some friends, and they're not so new baby. Oh! Hi, Monica. Oh, there we go, Naomi. Oh, good, good. I'm doing alcohol inks at the moment. So fun. Oh, good. Right, I was going to have another go with this stamping seal. Oops. Oh, that was weird. I think a little bit got stuck to the roof of the thing. Please don't do that all the time. Oh no. That's better. Oh, 
corner. Which way round do I want this? I think I want it that way round. This was working fine the other day and now it's been a bit of a pain. Come on. You need to have like the gluey bit right underneath the, the wheel. And <sighs> I'm not being a very good advertiser for this, am I? Right, come on, that's it. Okay, so I want this just in the middle, like that. I'm not going to put any dimension on this because I think all the dimension is going to come from the flowers anyway. So I don't feel that with this one I need to put any extra dimension. The other one I might do though because the card will be quite thick. So we'll see. Right, I have got my glue gun here because I thought it would just be quicker and easier to stick some of these things together. So. Oh, that's this one over here, wasn't it? It is Tombow I ordered, Ruth, isn't it? Yes, it is, Vanessa. The green this stuff. Yep. Oh, did she? Beck Ross did a great video on the new stamp in Seal Plus. Oh, okay. Cool. Not seen that just yet. Right, so if you don't have the fancy tweezers, you can just use your fingers. Just, just saying. Phew. Phew, she says. Yay. And I quite like, you know, just teasing a few of these little leaves because it just helps them. Right, I was going to use my new product tonight. This stuff. Let's get you a bit closer. You're a bit far away. There we go. Right, the only thing is, I'm not quite sure how this is going to hold up underneath the hot glue. <laughs> I can imagine it's going to want to kind of melt. Right, I'm just having a bit of a tease of it to see what it does. Because I want it to look sort of bitsy, not like it's just a square bit of ribbon hi Norma oh yeah right let's just do it let's get it stuck down This is the new, hi Barbie, nice to see you, I just realised who it was. Um, it's the new metallic mesh ribbon that's in the mini catalogue. So this is like hot off the press, this. Um, it's not available to 
customers just yet. But if you're a demonstrator, it's available for you to buy on the pre-order. So it's in the Halloween section, would you believe? But I think it's fabulous for this type of thing. As soon as I saw it, I was just like, yes. I've been waiting for Stampin' Up! to stock something like this. So I'm really, really quite happy that they have. Huh? Oh, take care, Bev. Nice to see you, Barbie. So I saw you popped in on Esther's video the other day. Uh, yeah. Ugh, earlier on and I thought I haven't seen Barbie for ages hi Nancy hi Sheila okay so I'm just going to have these little flowers nested in there I'm just putting a little blob right in the middle and then I really want to nestle some of these oak leaves in as well. So the oak leaves are a new product. They're in the new mini as well. And um, aren't they adorable? Yeah, it does, Nyoka. <laughs> Definitely. I think I'm done, really. Apart from to put a sentiment or something on it. Oh, <gasps> I have got the new blue gems. Or we could go with, I was going to say go with gold, but the, that thread is silver, so we just double check. Yeah, it is, it's silver. But I've got these. Again, these are going to be in the new mini. Ooh, come on. Oh, for goodness sake, it's because I've got glue attached to my fingers. <sighs> right, there we go. <laughs> I've got hot glue on my fingernails and it's kind of like sticking to the gem. Right, there we go. Done. That one anyway. <gasps> oh, what about some... Shall I do some pale blue gems in... in those? Oh my goodness, I can see myself going through a whole packet of these. They are so delicious. Oh my word. So, yum. Love it. Okay, next one. So, I said I was going to stick this one down. And because of the colour, it almost feels like a frame kind of effect, doesn't it? So, glue. That would help. I do have a picky tool, Deborah. Would you believe? I actually do have one. I will grab it now. Or is it? Yeah, I can see it, but um, I've just seen it hasn't got the picky bit on it at the moment. It's got the brush tool, but I've got a non-stamping up picky tool in front of me I could use. Right, so for this, I was thinking this could be up a little bit more. 
raised up. So I might use some dimensionals for that bit. Oh, now the other thing, rather than using dimensionals, is you can use chipboard if you've got some spare bits, like I do, I always have spare bits of chipboard from packaging. So these usually, I don't know, like packaging for doilies or something. So if you just cut yourself a piece, now if your trimmer won't go through all of it, it doesn't matter, you can kind of snap it, look, like that. that Boop. that's it there we go and so why I like using this is because it's it's cheaper the dimensionals <laughs> it's freer uh, and it's more eco-friendly and oh I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to sort this out I think it's because it keeps catching. <sighs> I'm going to get the user plus. That's better. Sorry, what I was saying was that it because it covers the whole portion. Oh, 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 gosh, that's so strong! It's pulling up the um, the cardstock because it's um, rough. <laughs> it's cut. It's had to curl up inside there. All right, so don't do it on chipboard because it's too strong for chipboard. So again, we've got this lovely daisy, but I don't really want to cover up too much of the design. So maybe down in that corner there. And I'm going to use the finer leaves. Let's just chip that away a little bit. Let's cut to that. Oh, little sprig there, and a little sprig of that there. I generally tend to go bottom left corner. That's just my thing. I mean, I know I could do it somewhere else. That is, you know, it just feels right. <laughs> that tends to be where I aim things. Okay. Right, I'm going to aim it there. So I'm going to put some glue, glue these leaves into place. Hi Pamela. So what was that Sheila about the tape runner? I, I sort of missed the comment. I saw
Oh, I've still got the fuzzy stuff to go, haven't I? I forgot about that. Did I miss your one sheet wonder class? Oh, that was last night, yeah. It's okay, you can go back and watch it, Norma. Yeah, do email me. Do, if you have WhatsApp, please do email me because I will add you to my broadcast list. I can send you a message. Oh, I see. Yeah, the the strong stuff. No, you're right. I didn't. I shouldn't have used as much as I did. You're right because it's it is strong. You know what? I'm f I'm playing with this, trying to figure out where to put it, and I'm thinking I don't want to put anything else. I might just pop that in the middle like that, and then put a gem, and that'll be it for that. Because we've got all this beautiful paper that I don't actually want to cover it up. You know, um, and that's the danger with these. Kind of quite detailed cards that you end up putting too much on it and drawing your eye away from the beauty of the paper. So I'm just going to put that there and I think that will be fine as it is. Just got this lovely bit of zhuzh and bling a bling bling. Right, next. So this is going to be the pièce de résistance. So I was going to line up that and do that with it. Now sticking this is going to be interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's just do it. That one's going to go there, so that's got to go there, so that means my glue goes there. Oh, there we go, that's not too bad. So I'll pop that one in the middle. There we go, done. I just noticed there's a couple that I haven't poked out. These are new blue gems called Blue Adhesive Back Gems and they're going to be available from the 4th of August. So sorry, I'm doing a lot of peekies with you guys tonight of the new product. Right, again, I don't want to cover up too much of this beautiful f florals, so I'm going to try and get these tucked in. Yeah, you can hold out. <laughs> it's gonna be while stocks last. They should be available until the end of December, so there's no rush for them. It's just that because I was working with blue, I was like, oh, the blue gems would go so nice, and I don't have lots and lots of gems in my current stash. I've got loads of things in my retired stash, and I keep using retired stuff, and I 
you know, want to show things that you I know you guys can get hold of. Well, either now or soon. Right, so that works for me. And then I might cut a few more of these little purple ones just to have dotted around. And then I've got these gorgeous glow cleaves as well. So that works for me. I'll just see if I've got another scrap of purple pose. No, I don't. Let's use that then. The lace die cut is from the... Fabulous Florals. It goes with the All Things Fabulous set. Yeah, my shirt almost matches my card. Yeah, look. <laughs> Right, have I stuck that down? Yes, I have. Okay, let's get these leaves done. Now, I could tweezer the leaves, but I haven't, so. Hi, Wendy. Right, I think we can use a good amount of this stuff on here. So I'm going to cut a slightly longer piece. Look, I'm being so generous with myself. <laughs> right, how many metres do you get of this stuff? Nine metres. Wowzers. Okay. I'm gonna to have to use this stuff an awful lot, aren't I, to get rid get through it. Oh, do you think I could put another bit in? Or if I put a hole in that? Because, you know, the daisy's going under there, you're not gonna see it. Yeah, that will do, won't it? Look. Put that there. that over the top with a hole in it. Stick that there. Yes, you could use it as angel hair, yeah. I don't know if angels do have hair. Mmm, pretty pretty. Oh, now. Just going to curve this a bit more. I can do a lot of damage with a glue gun. Kelly asked a question Where did you get the grid paper? Oh, Kelly, hi. Uh, it's from Stampin' Up and it is available for customers to purchase. I will get the code. Uh, where's my other one? I bought two. It's £8.25, I think, for 25 sheets. So it's a more expensive or, than the white, the white grid paper, but it is so much fun. So if you do want to order, dem um, you don't have to be a demonstrator to order. It's 155380 is the code. 155380. And it's the in colours, it's the current in colours. Hi Cindy, I know I'm back again. Is that alright Cindy? 
Do you need to have like a break for me? Is it just too much in in one day? Three times in one day. So I've been on earlier, if you haven't realised, doing a unboxing of new products. Didn't mean to be rude. It's not Cindy. I'm so used to it now. It just it's water off a duck's back. <laughs> Oh, is that any good, that programme, Sheila? I have seen it advertised. Oh, I love these little leaves. Just trying to see where's my scrap bits gone. Oh, what about if I cut them out of this burlap? That's a fun texture. Oh, I quite like that. Mix, I'm mixing it up a bit, guys. What do you think? Hi, Heather. Glenna likes having the variation. Okay. I've got a few of these leaves left over, so I thought it might be fun just to. Oh, Tom, yeah. did you switch the chicken broth off? You what? Did you do the chicken? Did I switch the rice off? The broth. What broth? Oh. I said, turn the chicken. didn't hear me. He thought I said the rice cooker. So the chicken broth is now burnt. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Just got a smoky kitchen. <sighs> there we go. Right, let's start gluing. I know. Well, uh, it's it's burnt now. <laughs> Never mind. You almost poked your eye out. I had a pokey to. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pokey tools can be very dangerous. Yeah, it had it had its lid on it. it just, there's 
burnt dry and I'm going to have to scrub that pan in the morning. Oh, sorry, Martina, I didn't want to panic you. Oh, that's a good tip. Thanks, Vanessa. I'm just looking to see if I've got any other blue. I think that will do. to stick a bit on. No, it's fine. I do want something in the middle of that though. Flower. Oh, blue circle. I'll see what this looks like and then. And then I'm thinking a blue gem in the middle. Oh, I could see what it's like in the blue. I've got the pokey thing close to my eye. I've got nowhere near my eye. It's about 10 inches away from me. Cindy. It's because the camera. <laughs> Cindy's having kittens. I had earlier, did I? Oh. I've got glasses on, I'll be fine. Oh dear. What did you like out of the new catalogue? No, you don't have to give me your nurse safety speeches. My parents are nurses. Honestly, it, it really wasn't near my eye. There we go. 
Right, all done, I think. Oh no, I wanted to put little gems in that one. Paler blue. Ooh. Oh, it's stuck to a bit of the the meshy stuff. Come on, come on. There we go. Right, all done, I think. I'm going to unplug my heat gun because I don't need that. Let's try to find my bone folder. Leaving it. Oh, there's one. Thank you, Monica. That's better. Right, there we go. One, two, three. Thank you, guys. I don't think I can make you vote on this because they're all sim bit similar really but you can vote if you'd like to which one you prefer um, and if you yeah you're gonna see me using this a lot because it's so fabulous it really is it's the sort of thing that's worth you know maybe sharing with somebody because you'll find it really difficult to go through a whole reel of this I'm going to put these gems away while I think about it because otherwise I lose packages. Yep, yeah, plugs my heat gun. Yep. Yeah. Could you colour colour it? It might be quite tricky because it's very fine. Yeah, it's very fine. It's silvery. I guess you could try colouring it. Yeah, I'll try that next time. Yeah, blends will definitely. But you'll end up putting a lot of ink on your paper. Yeah, it's very fine. don't think I'll have any problem no I think I'm gonna it's gonna go on every single card now anything with flowers on it will go on <laughs> yeah it's fabulous stuff really gorgeous yeah it could probably maybe spray it the only thing is because it's foil it's not gonna it's not gonna soak in the color so it does need something like alcohol on it yes it's stamping up ribbon uh fourth of July fourth of July 4th of August it's going to be available for customers. Demonstrators can buy it now. And if you sign up this month, you can actually order it in your starter kit. Along with these fabulous gems. And the leaf punches. This, oh, two leaves and an acorn. So, yeah. You are working. Hi, Melanie. No worries. You can watch the replay. Nice to see you, though. Right, I think that's it. Exactly, Martina, exactly. Yeah, no, it's it's it'll be a useful one to have. 
yeah, I'll definitely keep reusing it. Cindy says, just found out last evening I'm on a feline highway on all Google Maps. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're wonderful. You're wonderful. You're welcome, Glenna. <laughs> you're wonderful too. <laughs> right. Take care, guys. I know what. Let me just do a quick close up. Go. Okay. That's a close up of that. Number one. Oh no, that was number two, wasn't it? This is number one. Okay. You can see all that lovely glitter. No, the grid paper is the same colour. But it's got centimetres. So you've got inches on one side, centimetres on the other. Okay. And this is such a simple card layout. You know, it's just a great big piece with a strip and decoration. So, yeah, super duper easy to do. Lovely to see you guys. Have a great evening, day, morning, wherever you are, and hope to see you again soon. Okay, bye.